Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives, back for another vinyl CD update. Um, this will be a little bit of kind of an old school feel. Um, I have a few here that I've replaced uh, the cassettes and bought the CDs for. Um, I have CDs that I've bought the vinyl for and I got a reissue here and we're gonna say goodbye to a uh, fantastic band that is retiring at the end of this tour and uh, stay tuned and I'll tell you who that is. Um, let's start off with uh, one of the cassettes that I replaced. Twisted Sister, You Can't Stop Rock and Roll. Um, everyone knows this album. Uh, I love this album, Under the Blade, uh, Stay Hungry. Um, those are my three favorite Twisted Sister albums. Um, of course, everyone knows Stay Hungry. Uh, next up is my favorite from this band. And um, I don't, back in the day, I couldn't get enough of these guys. Love this album, love their second album. Their third album, not so much. It's okay, but not great. But here it is, Cinderella Night Songs. You know, what an album this is. Um, I, I love uh, everything on here. Uh, one of my favorite tracks though is probably not super popular but song not track nine push push love that song now i said earlier kind of a um you know an old school feel whatever um these are two albums that uh you know i had to pick up by walking watching uh, uh frankie's channel thanks frankie but uh, i am so happy i picked up these two albums this is steven piercy smash great album um, these two I'll show you are on Frontiers he does have other stuff I just don't have yet um, but if these two are any indication of uh, what he's been doing over the years uh, and you're missing rat grab these these are fantastic like I said they're on Frontiers uh, great this is a great album the other one was kind of uh, on my top well it was number 11 whatever you want to say but it was definitely uh, uh, whether it was an honorable mention or what but doesn't matter this is a great album due to a kill um, Steven's been working with uh, basically between these two albums he's worked with all the same guys except the drummer I believe was uh, a different uh, this is a really good album again if you're missing rat and you need a little bit of fix go and get these they're not super pricey um, and not that hard to find at this point I'm sure they will be a few years down the road um, a couple that I've picked up here uh, we'll show this one these are two that I missed out in 2018 don't don't know how I did but I'm glad I got these first one is accuser the mastery um, and I don't know how I missed out on these guys over the years this is a frick awesome German thrash so heavy um you know i've been listening to this actually um past uh, one or two days uh this vocalist he has a little bit I, I hear a little bit of james early james hatfield in here um i hear some very uh just like uh scott, scott water said machine gun riffing heavy drum sound uh this is a killer album and i will definitely be looking into some more accuser um, let me know in the comments where I should go after this one. Uh, tell me which one I should buy next. And next up, this album. If you like 80s metal, you know, and comparing some of these, uh, I know the, the name Dawkin always comes up, or, you know, I, I hear maybe a little tinge of early Def Leppard in this band. Um, I also love the Canadian band Cauldron, kind of your... Uh, new wave of traditional heavy metal and these guys would fall into that category that band is haunt uh, burst into flame this thing is a masterpiece I just love this album uh, I hope these guys uh, uh, I'm not sure if they well, obviously they might would would want to get picked up on a major label but I'm just quite I'm not sure why they aren't already this is just uh, fantastic um, you know I grew up in the 80s and this cover just screams nostalgia. It, it's just fantastic. Um, the track listing is not on the back, but anyways, you cannot go wrong with this. I've already ordered the vinyl, it's that good. Um, yeah, treat yourself and go get this. 
and I ordered their EP uh, Luminous Eyes and I guess their their new album um, I forgot the name it's a uh, if Icarus could fly I think it's called it is already up for pre-order um, as I said earlier we're gonna say goodbye to a, a fantastic band that I uh, followed through the 80s uh, got to see them live in 1984 um, and that is Crocus picked up this album this one's called Big Rocks and this is basically uh, I'll show you the back cover the roots of Crocus so you can see that track listing. These are bands and songs like um, My Generation, Wild Thing, A uh, Whole Lot of Love, Born to Be Wild. These are bands and songs that uh, that influenced or um, stuff that Crocus really liked. So they did a basically this is a covers album, um, not the album I'd like to see them retire on, but you know um, that's okay. They had a great career love their stuff um, you know albums like um, Headhunter, The Blitz um, fantastic and even their their later albums here in the past uh, 15 years guys go check them out like uh, do yourself a favor and give uh, Crocus a chance because they're they're a fantastic band uh, next up I got two on vinyl this one came up at uh, $19.99 in Canada which is is good and uh, we kind of have some uh, we don't even have a penny here in uh, in Canada they have eliminated the penny so why you might as well just call this twenty dollars but it's all those price points to kind of mentally get you to buy things and uh, I am a sucker for that anyway so anyways I got Rush Presto on vinyl this is uh, a uh, 2015 reissue on uh, Atlantic Anthem this is what you know one of your mid to later rush uh, this is a fantastic album a um, couple of my favorite tracks on here show don't tell uh, the pass war paint love that song um, just a, a great great rush album overall and I I am one of those guys who likes pretty much anything rush has put out uh, I like all four decades and and how their their sound changed over the years um, there's the center logo. This is this is on black, uh, 200 gram vinyl, very sturdy. Like I said in a previous video, you could probably eat your dinner on on one of these two. Not that you want to, but uh, very sturdy vinyl. Um, and last, I'll show you is one I've been waiting for, and uh, you know that uh, when I show this, this is one of my favorite bands. This is the last reissue I was waiting for. Um, it was harder to get than the than the first ones that I showed. But that is Saxon. The Eagle has landed live. So this is one of those BMG uh, reissues. It is uh, very true to the original, except you know you got a different date and uh, BMG um, Union Square Records put this out. And the coolest thing about this, this vinyl is just phenomenal. This is probably one of my favorites out of the all the Saxon reissues that I've got lately. Kind of got a blood red black splatter going here. Custom logo in the middle. And then you got uh, the Saxon. The Eagle has landed. This is just one of my all-time favorite live albums. Uh, single live albums. Can't go wrong with Saxon. Um, but that's it for... That's it for the big show today. Um, like I said, check out the band Haunt. Uh, you know, thank you to guys like Kevin, um, um, War God 60. Uh, awesome. Thank you for the influence. Um, Scott uh, showing me that Accuser. Just an awesome album. Definitely be looking for some more of those. And uh, that's it for this update. So until next time. Stay heavy.